So, I actually got a day off work today, so this can be a long episode, which is really nice. And I'm going to find someone straight away from Japan, almost at the 1600s. And they are going to have... Okay, the ground on a little jump off stuff. So that, again, forces me to lead with my Salamence and Kyogre, which is not the worst thing. Because you would assume the max speed Groudon on this team, because there's not really any form of speed control. Because the normal team has at least Thunderwave, but apart from potential like Rock Tombs and Bulldozers, I can't see any form of speed control, apart from Icy Wind Kang, I guess. So, it's better to go with Zapdos to get the Tailwind, but then he can just leave with Jumpluff, that's the problem. Yeah, that makes it awkward. In fact, Gengar Kyogre might be better. Although then I would speed tie with a jump off. But then it might not just be max speed because you don't need max speed as such. Um, I do want Salamence. Like, I do want Zapdos because then if I get the Tailwind up then I'm looking really good. But I'm going to go with Groudon because I need it for the Ferrothorn. But I still have Icy Wind as my speed control. If I get one Icy Wind off, I'm fine. The only problem is, like, if he leads Jump off Groudon, and then wins a speed tie and sleep powders my Gengar, that would be the only issue. Or missing Icy Winds, I guess. If he leads with Kang, it could still be scrappy. He is going... Well, I'm going to lead with Gengar and Kyogre. Against Kangaskhan and Landorus. Okay, that's pretty good. Even if he is scrappy. Because I'm just going to Ice Beam that Landorus and I'm going to Icy Wind. Or should I skill swap straight away? No, actually, it's way better to switch out Kyogre into Salamence. Like, a hundred times better. Because then, if he switches in Groudon, I can switch in my Kyogre whenever I want. Although, I can skill swap with my Gengar. And I get Intimidates on both his physical attackers, or presumed physical attackers. So, that makes a lot more sense. Oh, is he going to be the guy to just sucker punch my Gengar straight away? Surely not. But I am tempted to skill swap. Because I will be faster anyway. But apart from a Scarf Landorus, I will be faster. Because if he's scrappy, it doesn't make a difference anyway. So I am going to skill swap this Kangaskhan. And I'm going to switch out into Salamence to get the Intimidate and reset any weathers that potential that he switches out is going to withdraw Kang so apparently I'm going to skill swap his desolate land I'm going to give him levitate which isn't the best thing so icy wind was the better play but I do get an intimidate onto the Groudon if it is physical I get an intimidate onto the Landorus you'd assume it's going to u-turn onto my Gengar to break its sash so I would have definitely preferred icy wind but I will be able to just hyper voice things now so the Kyogre switch was definitely the right one. Nice Intimidate. Don't know if it's physical or special yet, but Landorus is. But it's probably going to U-turn out. Yeah, it's just going to be Rock Slide and Salamence dodges. So that was, that was a good play from him. I like that. As long as I don't flinch with the Gengar. Actually, that's probably better, actually, because I skill swapped. So I prefer that. But he is a Scarf Landorus, so I don't know why I'm running into them all of a sudden. So I'm going to Icy Wind. Hopefully I don't flinch. And... What would he do with his Groudon? You wouldn't have thought he ground moves. Like, surely there's no way he ground moves. Because I could just switch out into my Groudon. But... He is intimidated. I think I want to start chunking with Hyper Voice. He's not going to switch out. And we know he's scarfed, so he can't U-turn. He's just going to be rock sliding. So as long as I don't flinch or anything, I'm going to be fine. Okay, he's going to protect his ground. And the important one is Gengar here. Salamence flinching won't be the worst thing. But Gengar flinching would really be annoying. So, oh, I can survive another one. No, I do, I do get off. And I do hit. So now I'm in a really good position. 
That does a lot to Landorus. Hive Voice is going to knock it out. So that's really nice. Might have been better if I had stayed normal form, actually, and just knocked out the Landorus normally. Because then I could have uh, preserved Intimidate. Because he did switch out his Kangaskhan first turn. He's not at uh, a base 100 speed yet, so... Don't know if a normal Hyper Voice would have knocked out that, la that Landorus, though. But it would probably be better to leave it on the field. So actually, I do think that not Mega Ring and Hyper Voicing was the better play. But I didn't know if the Granon was going to protect or not, so... It's going to be a Velfal, okay. Now he's going to Sucker Punch my Icy Wind. Because that is certainly a possible play. I do want to preserve my Gengar. Because it looks really nice. Against the Kangaskhan and the Groudon. With the Icy Wind support. So I'm going to switch out into my Groudon. Do I want Hyper Voice? I think I want a Hyper Voice. Because if it's got no bulk, it might put it in Rock Slide range from Groudon. If Salamence survives, then I just get to knock it out. Or force a Sucker Punch on Salamence, and then Groudon gets a hit. And I still haven't seen if he's physical or special, because he just protected. So, hopefully a Sucker Punch onto Groudon. That would be the better one. Uh, on Salamence, okay. So I could have Icy Winded, and that would have given me so much momentum. So that's a shame, and I Salam I will lose Salamence here, almost certainly, to a Rock Slide, or to an Eruption, okay, that's fair. So it turns out Kyogre is the better switch. So do I want to go into Kyogre now, or go into Gengar to force him to suck Punch it? We've got speed tie issues now. I'm going to go into Kyogre. I would expect a foul play onto my Groudon. So I'm going to Rock Slide. Is it worth spouting? I think it's worth spouting because. If he's special, then he can't bring me down to a point where he won't get knocked out to the low HP water spout with Groudon. And if Rockslade doesn't pick up the knockout on Eveltal, then it will do enough chips so that it should. It's Dark Pulse, okay, interesting. And it was on to Kyogre, so that won't do as much as Foul Play. So long as I don't flinch, then I'm fine. Or if he wins a speed toe with Precipice Blades, I hit with Rockslide. Eveltal should go down, theoretically. Or not, but it's in water spout range. It's Earth Power, so that's nothing. And onto Groudon, that's preferable. Because now, that will go down, but Water Spout will knock out both his Pokemon. And I can skill swap away the Kangaskhan's parental bond so it won't be able to knock out my Kyogre in one shot. Wait, did I flinch? I flinched, didn't I? That's awful. That's really bad. Hmm. Right, so I've got to skill swap Levitate onto my Kyogre and go for another Water Spout, because hopefully he sucker punches Genka here. That flinch sucked. So he'd have just had Kangaskhan left, and then Genka would have been able to beat it with the skill swap, and then, because I just skill swap and protect, and then he can't knock out my Kyogre, I'll be able to scald and then stall him out with Genga, so that's annoying. If he attacks my Kyogre with Veltal, he's probably going to win. In fact, no, because then I'd levitate my Kyogre, so I should still be fine. Yeah, nice. Okay, so I'll give levitate to my Kyogre so he can't touch it this turn. Because he's almost certainly going for Earth Power onto it. Which I am expecting. Precipice Blades. Okay, so I lose my Gengar. Yeah. So he, he did have a power and press blade. That sucks. Because now I can't beat the Kangaskhan one on one. So that that flinch was crucial. That's a shame. I guess if I survive like a return or something, then 
If it's return, I might live, and then I could burn him and then get quadruple protects, but that's a real shame about that flinch. I'm pretty sure I'd have taken it otherwise. I didn't do any damage to the Kangaskhan, did I? No. So I've obviously got to protect from the fake out, but... Yeah, that's a bit disappointing. The worst that could happen here is he double teams. Because <laughs> he can't really do anything at this point. Gotta hope he's slow. He won't be slow, but... Gotta hope he's not double edge. And I burn him, and then... I'm not even in the rain anymore, am I? Because I got rid of it. It's just double-edged, so I'm going to get KO'd. With a crit, so it, that didn't matter, because that's how much a parental bond's hit does, so... That's a shame. Was there anything I could have done better? Well, I could have Icy Winded on the turn he didn't Sucker Punch my Gengar. But that would have been... Like, that would have been a pretty big read. And I was fairly certain he would suck punch the Gengar, because it made the most sense to stop the Icy Wind, so... It was a good read on his part not to attack the Gengar. So... Where does that put us now? Because I was just above the 1600s. And I'm still in the 1600s at 1607. So that's, that's not bad. I will climb a little bit with this team. Not sure how much how much longer I'll use this team. I'll probably actually switch to another team soon because using the same team over and over gets a bit stale. So I I probably switch after this one because this will be a, a longer episode. I might even get three episodes in this one because I've got the whole day off work. So and then I'll switch to another team in the next episode. So fifteen seventy eight from Italy, and he is going to have exactly big six. Perfect. Well then. So it's Gengar with... So it's always the choice of Groudon, Salamence, Zapdos. That's the um, big six lead. Gengar with Groudon, Salamence, or Zapdos with uh, Kyogre in the back. And then one of the three I've just mentioned. So... It's always awkward which one. Because it just depends whether he's got Mental Herb, whether he's going to lead with his Talonflame or not. Because if he leads with Talonflame, Zapdos is easily the better one. Um, I'm going to go with Zapdos. I'm going to have Kyogre, and I'm going to have Groudon. So ideally with this lead, there would be Smeagol Xerneas. He doesn't have Mental Herb, and then I just taunt him and roar away his Xerneas. And he doesn't have Fake Out. Or Follow Me. But it's Smeagol Kangaskhan. So that's fine. Unless he's scrappy, because he could scrappy fake out my Gengar now. And then I can't stop his Smeagol. But I'm going to taunt the Smeagol, and I'm going to Thunderbolt the Smeagol. I don't, like, my Zapdos Thunderbolt shouldn't knock out Smeagol. Unless it's the power-up punch surviving one, then it might. But on the big six, you should have a bulky Smeagol that's slower than the Primals, because you need a trick room counter. So ideally he won't be scrappy, which he's not, and if he's not Mental Herb, then everything is fine. Because he's probably going to paralyze himself. But it's in, in my favor for him to paralyze himself. Oh, okay. Well, that was not the correct play. Please don't be Mental Herb. Nice, very nice. So I have no idea why he sucker punch there. And it's Focus Sash, so there we go. No Mental Herb. He can't Dark Void. Perfect doesn't matter what his boosts are, he's switching out. So now I'm going to skill swap the Kangaskhan, because I don't want to get sucker punched, and I am going to Tailwind. So it's going to withdraw Smeagol either into Groudon or Xerneas, you would assume. It's going to be Xerneas, that's fine, because a Parental Bond Sludge Bomb will knock out the Xerneas, which is really nice. So, okay, he's going to attack the Zapdos here, that's fine. So hopefully, again, he could get paralysed. That's what's so good about Zapdos. And I win the speed tie. So any potential crit double edge won't knock me out before I get my tailwind. It's just going to be power up punch. 
So now... No, it's stolen his principal bond, so he still can't knock me out in one shot. And he does get paralysed. Very nice. <laughs> Didn't really matter because I had my tailwind, but it's always nice to have the potential paralysis chance. I'm going to sludge bomb. Am I going to sludge bomb the Xerneas? Because he could protect and cycle punch, and then I'm in cycle punch range again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sludge bomb the Xerneas, but I'm going to roar that Kangaskhan. Because then, if he sucker punches my Gengar, he's gone next turn, and the only way that goes wrong is if he goes out into Talonflame. Or... Nope, he's not even going to protect his Xerneas. So a Parental Bond Sludge Bomb will knock out this Xerneas. And I will lose my Zapdos here unless I get paralysed, but that's fine, because it gives me the free switch into my Groudon. Very nice. Is he going to get paralysed? He isn't, so I'm going to lose Zapdos, and I, I think that's probably preferable now. So, knocks me out in one shot, doesn't even need the... The baby. Even though I've stolen his parental bonds, but... Because he is a plus two. So I want to go into Groudon here, because I want to have Kyogre in the back to win the Weather War. In case he goes, in, he goes into his own Groudon here. And it is going to be his Groudon, so... I want to double up onto that Groudon, because, again, he can't double Sucker Punch me. And I do outspeed. As long as I hit both Presbyter's Blades, I'll be in such a good position. We're going to have to go through all the Primal Reversion. So I had one turn of Tailwind. I've still got two. I can protect his Groudon and suck Punch my Gengar again. But then he'll hopefully take a huge chunk with Precipice Blades. Then I'll just Precipice Blades again. And everything will be fine. Because I could skill swap my own Groudon. But Parental Bond doesn't work on Precipice Blades. Which is a shame. And it doesn't work on Icy Wind either. Which is also a shame. So, Sludge Bomb. I am kind of expecting the Protect from the Groudon. Do I want to Sludge Bomb the Kangaskhan protecting the Protect from the Groudon? Because surely he protects. Yeah, actually, I'm going to Sludge Bomb the Kangaskhan. Because I don't want him getting off. A double edge on oh it's suck punch okay so it's gonna bring me down to my sash but that's fine and he's gonna be attacking with his Groudon sludge bomb hopefully with parental bomb will knock out this kind of scan which it might actually do and then press place turns into single target very nice very nice so as long as I hit everything is fine everything is fine so he's only got his smeagol in the back so he can't win especially since he was sash not mental herb or anything like that I guess he could have Endeavor and Faint, but that can't touch my Gengar, so that is the game over. So you can see I have a pretty good matchup against Big Six with this team. I think I think I very I, I do occasionally lose if they get into a good position with their Xerneas, but mo like the, the, the huge majority of the time I do beat Big Six with this team. The only ways it goes wrong is if it's like best of one Mental Herb Smeagol or if it's Scarf Smeagol. Those are the two ways it can go wrong. But Mental Herb Smeagol is actually picking up a lot of popularity. But then in best of three, I can leave with my Salamence and then just KO it. So, yeah, let's get one more because it's probably going to be the last episode with this team unless it comes back by popular demand. But I didn't want to move on to us some other teams. I've got some other team ideas. Like, I've got a couple that are potential world teams, which I'm definitely going to keep secret. But then I've got... Oh, not my DS. I've got a couple that... I think it's probably somewhat usable in theory, but are also fairly fun, so I'll be using them on the series. So I'm at 16, 22 at the moment. Not a very nice number, like I guess it's two twos, but just waiting for that 16, 61 at the moment. Hopefully I don't just jump over that for no reason. Get the exact ratings I need. He beat 4,444. Okay. Interesting. With what? Okay. That's a fair enough team. So, I'm going to leave with Zapdos. Zapdos looks really nice. Is it going to be the Trick Room Press? Is it going to be Mental Herb Press? I like Groudon. I need it for the mobile. But I don't really like Gengar here. 
but Mentz is also like okay. Do I want Ferrothorn here? I actually think I want Ferrothorn, so I'm going to leave with Zapdos and Groudon with Kyogre and Ferrothorn in the back. So what would his lead be? Maybe Cress, then I'll roar it away. Would he leave with Kangaskhan? Probably he could go Fast Smoke, Thunderous and Kangaskhan. <coughs> and then he could taunt my Zapdos to stop any Tailwinds. I would say that Mawal is more likely than Kangaskhan though. Because obviously, like, you wouldn't bring, you surely wouldn't bring both. Unless you really needed that fake out. Or you're just intending to sack one to get a free switch. So, what's going to be? Is that Blossom Groudon? Not a very common lead with this team, but it seems to work out. So he is going fast mode with Kangaskhan and Thunderous. So, fake out onto Groudon and taunt onto Zapdos. Would make the most sense to me. Could just straight up Thunderbolt my Zapdos. But I wouldn't expect that. Like, surely you want to top, stop the Tailwind. Because if he's gone fast mode, then you need to stop the Tailwind. So I'm going to... Do I want to Thunderbolt the Thunderous to break any sashes? Or do I want to get some chip to put Gangaskhan in gyrable range? Hmm. Gyrable range. And I'm going to switch out Groudon into Ferrothorn. <coughs> if he Thunderbolts my Zapdos, that was a good play. That's fine. Maybe he's switching into Groudon. No, into a Velfal. Okay, so if I'd have Thunderbolted the Thunderous to break the sash, that would have been so much better. But now, I will get a Tailwind up if I win a speed tie. Like if, if he attacks into my Groudon, or if he fakes out into my Groudon, he takes a lot of damage. If he fakes out... No, oh, that was nice. Am I going to get paralyze, Paralysis? No, I like that. Like, that was a good play. I get my Tailwind now, but that was very nice from him. Because now, he only had a 30% chance to get paralyzed rather than... 51% but now I'm going to power whip the Kangaskhan instead of Gyrable because I'll get Tailwind up and then Gyrable's power is reduced so it could be low kick but then I survived the low kick but then if he's Snarl and low kick then that's not so good so it's going to be I'm going to get my Tailwind and then is this available going to move first okay it doesn't so that implies that the available is not a jolly one and there's the paralysis. That's very nice. So Gyro Ball would have sucked on Kangaskhan. So power up's a lot better. I should survive this um, frustration with the Citrus Berry. And if it's Snarl, that would be bad. That would be the worst case. It's oh, his own Tailwind. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. So we just matched at the moment. And power whip does connect. And it shouldn't knock out. It does a decent amount, though. So now I can Gyro Ball this Evolve He's going to sucker punch my, my Zapdos, isn't he? Hmm. Like, you would surely expect sucker punch onto Zapdos. Okay. I'm going to roll my Ferrothorn. And I'm going to gyro ball his Avelfall. Because his Kangaskhan outsped his Avelfall. Nice. Um, yeah, so that, that covered for both. But I'd prefer to lose that boss than take a chunk with something in the back. Because he got his off his own tailwind. This will do a lot to the Avelfall. Nice. Nice chunk. But now, I can bring in my Groudon very, very safely. I do outspeed the Evolutal, he has to Sucker Punch. And is Kangaskhan in Rock Slide range? I'm not sure. I don't think it is, but... Rock Slide is the better play. And I'm going to Power Whip 
the Kangaskhan in case he switches out into Groudon or anything. Because if I miss the Rock Slide and Kangaskhan, Gyro Ball might not actually pick up the Knockout on Kangaskhan either, because he's paralysed. <coughs> it would be weakened a lot. It is Life Orb, but it might not pick it up. So Power Whip is, even though less accurate, safer. Do outspeed, it doesn't Sucker Punch, so I should pick up a Double Knockout here. So I knock out the Avelthor. I got the Power Flinch chance on the Kangaskhan. Which I don't get. I'm going to take a chunk with Groudon, but that's fine. As long as I hit with Power Whip, I should be in a good position. That does half. Interesting. I do connect with Power Whip, so that's nice. It's a shame he broke through the Power Flinch, because I'm not usually in a position to Power Flinch, but there we go. That's a bonus of Zapdos. And having Rock Slide on your Groudon. I like the coverage of Rock Slide. I, if I don't have Rock Slide, I always seem to get into positions where I miss having Rock Slide. Okay. So he obviously threatens my Ferrothorn with a Fire Punch, but I wouldn't expect him to go for it. I would expect Presbus Blades. Now, I would live a Presbus Blades plus Thunderbolt onto my Ferrothorn. But it is going to be a speed tie, and that is dangerous. So, what I'm going to do. So I'm going to Fire Punch this Thunderous, and I'm going to Gyro Ball this Thunderous. Because if I knock it out, Kyogre will win in the back. Worst case, he protects his Thunderous. I don't see any reason for him to pick, protect his Thunderous, though. He's just going to Thunderbolt. Predicting the Kyogre switch, very, very nice. And I win the speed tie, so that should be game over. He is going to be Sash. If he Fire Punches into Ferrothorn, that's giving him a chance again. To me, P Blades. As long as there's no crit on Ferrothorn, I am going to win. Very nice. Because now the Precipice Blades is not single target. So a single target Precipice Blades crit could have knocked me out. But Gyro Ball onto the Thunderous. Like, I, I think the Thunderbolt into the ground on made the most sense because it couldn't do anything. Like, the tiniest bit of chip onto Ferrothorn wouldn't have made a difference because, as you can see, like, it wouldn't have knocked me out even with the Life Orb. But, yeah. Like, I, I, I like the Thunderbolt onto the ground on. But. Doesn't work out. Didn't switch into Kyogre. I feel like I made my best possible play, which wasn't switching out. So, Presbus Blades won't be able to knock out my Kyogre. Unless he has Thunder Punch and crits my Kyogre, he can still win. But, this should be fine. Now I'm going to get my Rain. Because Ferrothorn survived, it's not single target. And I'm just going to scold this Groudon for the win. So, Power Up as well, I guess. Forfeited, the, yeah, that makes sense. He didn't have Thunder Punch, so that was a pretty good game. Like, the Evolved Tailwind did surprise me, but managed to play around that quite well, I think. So, there we go. That was a bonus three-episode match. I'll probably move on to another team in the next episode. Thanks for watching.